Hey, I um, I got it all back together. Um, I'm going. I sprayed some lube. I got a little bit more of that crap out of the bow housing. Um, the clutch does have to come apart. I'm. When you sit in the car and push the clutch pedal down, um, you can do it like 50 times and it never misses. But when the motor's running, like once in 20 times, it doesn't come back good. You had to flutter it to get it to come back. So the little bit I'm going to drive for the next month, um, I'll just stay out of towns. That way I can baby it in the first couple gears. Yeah, but anyway, um, it's all back together. Uh, I torqued those bolts here, uh, 60, these bolts at 70, and, um, no problem. I put, I wrapped plastic on this, and I, and I took the coarse, like I had pretty rough plastic on this, so I took it off and I put thinner, easier to get off plastic, um, on before I put it together so I put plastic on covering this edge I had extra grease so I smooched some in here but anyway I put plastic on this side and on that side when I put this thing in here to get these bolts in because dust and dirt falls so I had this plastic on both sides and then after I got these bolts in actually I put this bolt in and the shock bolt and I had this airborne and then I put the axle in and I pulled the plastic out and put it in and put each bolt in to make sure I got no dirt in there. And then I pried it into place and put this bolt in. But uh, first you put this bolt in and then you put the shock bolt in because you can't get at the nut with the wrench. So you have to have the arm up over the way in order to torque the bolt for the shock. And then you put this down and that line sat up. But meanwhile, I had plastic on both pieces here, which I peeled off when I assembled the axle. But uh, I'm, it has metal springs here that uh, keep this from rattling, but there's no way that rattles. And what it's designed to do is to keep this pad rubbing against the shoe, the shoe rubbing against the rotor to make them hot because these uh, top quality metallic pads like to work on hot rotors much better brake but i find where i'm just putting around i don't need that good a brake and it really wears the rotors the front ones are totally destroyed and the pads are just like new but the uh, rotors are gone and one warps so i'm gonna leave the metal i'm taking the ones off the front but anyway, I got this all back together and I put a new fan belt on it. But, um, yeah, same thing on this side. Quite a little job hooking the emergency brake loopy thing up and getting that in. But this side, it misses by 16th of an inch on that emergency brake thing. And on the other side, it's just a smidgen more than 16th of an inch. But um, when I spun it before I put the brakes on, it nothing hits. And it's it's nice in here. This this thing works good. Uh, it's at 46. It's been going now for several days. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the back tires on, then jack the front end up, and pull those tires off, and pop those metal things off the brakes, so it, the brakes don't run so hot, and that way. Maybe where the brakes will run a little cooler, I won't notice this warp in this one. Well, I have to be breaking the speed limit for it to feel in the pedal anyway. But um, anyway, I should be able to get out for a little bit of a drive. Unless there's more unforeseen circumstances. And these, my back tires, which are 50 series, uh, they're 225, 50, uh, 16s. Um, 
original, they're 225.55s, which puts them like um, half an inch higher. So these being half an inch lower, I'm hoping will change my gear ratio a little bit. Plus, it'll make the car sit a little more leveler. And anyway, that's um, be interesting to see how that works out. Um, as you notice, I, I haven't cleaned my mess up yet. And that's my tonight's job. Um, on these little uh, sliders in uh, sliders in here that hold the caliper on, um, I guess you don't you don't ever use uh, never seize. Never seize isn't good for the little rubbers that are in there, so I use brake brake uh, grease. But anyway, I I put a little bit of never seize on the hub before I put this disc on. Just a smith, just a thin, thin, thin layer. Yeah, it's nice in there. Even though it's 80 degrees, it feels cool. My boy, you come out here. I don't know how, it must be like 85, and it's muggy and hot. I, that's full of distilled water. So anyway, um, yeah, Mo, Mo maybe tonight if it drops a few degrees. I I don't like mowing uh, flowers as such. Uh, not that this is actually flowers, but the bees think so. But I have to mow a little bit. It gets it gets ahead of gets away from you if you uh, let it go too long. Anyway, um. Uh, I, sorry about not, uh, filming any work today, but it took me all day messing around. Mm. Yesterday, yesterday I put the axles and spindles together and bolted the hubs on. And today I did the brakes and finished things up and did the fan belt. So, anyway, um. My sunflowers are doing pretty good. They're not out yet as far as flowering goes, but they're doing good. Um, see you later.